Hello, my name is Mark Boissonneau. We get a lot of questions from our customers uh, when we're in their homes. Uh, today we're going to try to answer the question of why is my air conditioner freezing up? There is uh, typically th three main reasons why that can happen. Uh, the first one is if the, the airflow is restricted in any way, if you have too many of your floor vents blocked off, if you've got furniture parked in, over top of uh, a floor vent, uh, sometimes people in their basements will uh, close off all the vents in the basement uh, trying to get more of the cold air to go to the rest of the vents up in the second floor for instance. Um, you can, you know, that can work to some extent but by blocking off too many of the vents you're reducing the airflow and uh, that could cause your air conditioner to start freezing. No different than if your air filter is dirty on the furnace. Uh, you know, just a, your typical air filter that, you know, if it gets plugged solid, what's going to happen is the fan can't push the air through it because it's just matted over or it'll slow the, the amount of air going through down and uh, the cooling coil um, that's, uh, you know, the air conditioning coil that's in your furnace and the fan has to push through this, uh, the cooling coil. If the, if the filter is dirty, it's going to have less air impacting the coil, which is actually very cold. And unless that air is uh, consistent going through there, it's basically going to turn into a popsicle maker. It'll just frost up and eventually blanket over and then you get no airflow whatsoever. So, you know, turning your system off after that uh, will cause that frost to melt and eventually the water will go down the drain and, uh, and then you're going to get good airflow again. So that's the, uh, that's the main reason why uh, your air conditioner can freeze up is just all these different things that can it can cause the, uh, the radiator to, to, to freeze over and you're not going to get any airflow. The, the second reason that your air conditioner can freeze up is basically if you're just setting the temperature too cold. Uh, most systems, air conditioning systems, are designed to give you cooling down to about 20 degrees uh, Celsius. If you start trying to make it go colder than that, um, the design of the system is more like uh, you know like you'd need for your fridge or your freezer it's uh, um, the design isn't really made to go that cold and uh, uh, de depending on, on all the other variables and how the system's put together the amount of ductwork and and if your filter is even a little bit dirty and you know combination of a slightly dirty filter and turning it down to 18 you know you're you're just running on you know the, the chance that it's going to it'll eventually freeze up if you turn it too cold uh, turning the thermostat down, uh, you know, to say 15 because you want to, you get home and your house is hot and uh, you normally keep it at 22 or 20 and it's like, oh, I want to turn it on and, and cool it faster so you crank it right down to 15. That's, it's not going to help it uh, cool down any quicker. It's either running or it's not. So uh, that's not a good thing to do because if you forget it down to 15 and you go to sleep and the next morning you got no air conditioning, because it frosted up overnight. It just froze because it's not designed to go that cold. Um, the other reason, uh, the, the third reason that it could freeze up is uh, if it's got low, if it's low on Freon. And for that to happen, uh, if it was installed properly and it had the right amount of Freon in it in the beginning, then it's low on Freon, then it's basically leaked out. It's not like gas in your car where it gets consumed to any extent. If, uh, if it does leak out, uh, and, and it needs to be topped back up again. It, we're not allowed to do that anymore uh, by the EPA regulations. Uh, we actually have to find the leak, correct it, fix it, do the repair, and then put the right amount of Freon back in and again bring the charge up. So unit you know, being low on Freon is, is the final thing. Uh, but the most important thing, the most common thing that, that, that'll cause it is again the amount of airflow that's going past the coil. And uh, you know, I'll show you again, if, if your filter is dirty, uh, and the air is trying to get through here, it'll bypass the filter and eventually make its way to the coil. And, and I'll show you the, the op backside. I mean, that's, uh, that, this is all dirt that didn't get caught by the filter, either because there was no filter in there at the beginning or it's bypassing. And then this thing is acting like a filter and it just collects on there. So uh, this, is, uh, this is not a good thing. And uh, you'd have to almost have this professionally cleaned uh, to, make, to get it back to, to working properly again. So. Uh, those are the three things that will cause your air conditioner to freeze up. Uh, I hope this information was useful for you. Uh, please uh, like and share in the comments below uh, on our Facebook page.
Um, you can reach us at uh, 888 2020 or uh, visit our website at tradesmandrcool.com.